The talk of South Tampa is now becoming a national discussion. People across the peninsula are hearing a low bass sound, something like a drum beat, and they're wondering what's making all that racket. You may have heard that a local scientist thinks it's the mating sounds of black drum fish, and that scientist is now helping neighbors get some answers. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live in South Tampa. Aaron, what's the latest on this fishy investigation? <laughs> Well, Linda, it doesn't seem to matter where you live in South Tampa, whether you're along the coast or further inland. A lot of people are hearing this noise. Neighbors started hearing it back in late 2022. That's when this moat marine scientist started to get involved. Ever since then, he has suspected all along that it's black drumfish mating, as you said. But this is the first time that he's going to be able to use his equipment to maybe get some definitive answers. That's Dr. James Lacasio diving to the shallow bottom of Old Tampa Bay to get to the bottom of this noise. Folks are talking about um, it rattling their windows in some areas. That sound is making waves across the country and has been bothering neighbors in South Tampa for several weeks. Their kids are getting woken up or they're not able to fall asleep because they lay their head down on the pillow and they just feel this pulsing like bass coming through their pillows. By now, you might have heard of the suspected source, black drumfish mating. Sarah Healy wanted to be sure, so she launched an online fundraiser to hire Dr. Lacasio with Moat Marine, an expert on this exact fish. So this is a microphone that goes in the water. Right, and it's called a what? Hydro microphone. Close. Hydro hydrophone. In a matter of days, Lacasio was at Sarah's house giving her and her kids a lesson about the equipment he'll use to determine whether black drumfish are truly to blame. He's installed five underwater recorders this month in Hillsborough Bay and Old Tampa Bay. A sixth will go in this weekend. We're looking at 500 plus hours of underwater noise by the time that we pull the recorders out. Healy also asked neighbors to share when they hear the noise. She's using that information to map the times and locations, which are all across South Tampa. It's just all over the peninsula. Getting answers will take time. The fish could be moving through 400 square miles of water, from bays to rivers to harbors. But as Dr. Lacasio recently explained, this particular sound can travel far and inland. It's a low frequency sound, and so they travel much better. They go further distances and they go through uh, dissimilar media more efficiently. Refreshing. So while this scientist and South Tampa mom wait for answers from the not so deep, Healy may have a few other answers to discuss with her kids. Before you get involved in a national story about fish mating habits, make sure that you've had the Where Babies Come From talk with your kids, because if you haven't, this is when it's going to happen. And as for this, uh, as for the black drum mating season, uh, it's really late winter into early spring. That could be why uh, folks are hearing the noise again the same time this year as they did, you know, early 2023, late 2022. The noise recorders are going to stay in the water, we're told, until April. And uh, Linda, the hope is that they're going to have some, like I said, definitive answers by this summer. Well, Aaron, I love a good mystery. And at least we're learning a little bit about science and biology. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>